These solar arrays look beautiful, but they're not doing anything. I've got a remedy for that. What? Wiring. It is time to do all the electrical work to get these panels working. Glad I thought of that. You're so smart. I hope you're smart enough to do electrical. Well, I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, what could happen? It'll be fine. It's only like 400 volts. Fine. Our first step is going to be installing a pull box on each of the arrays. What's a pull box? Where you can get wires in, pull it out, and shove them down another direction. And we'll go into this more later, but that white thing up there is a disconnect. Yes, it is a DC solar IMO disconnect. First step. Get the box up. I decree that today's theme is going to be power. You decree? I do. Ready? Here we go. Okay, I'm gonna have Come to on. play with this one and see. Wonder Twin Powers, activate! No. <laughs> no. <laughs> We're not twins. <laughs> this is box number three. The box is secure, so next up we need to put up a bar to be able to secure this pipe. I'd say easy peasy, but the heads break off of this screw frequently. Just for added fun. You weren't kidding. I told ya. Cheap screws. Man. Okay. Next up is the... Conduit. Our box is on this side, but our conduit coming up from the ground is on that side. Yeah, slight miscalculation. It's okay, we can fix it. Yeah, it's fine. With some flexible conduit. Sort of flexible conduit. I have another one. <laughs> the electric slide. Okay, hey. I know it's connected. All three boxes are complete. So what's next? Recharge. Recharge? Lunchtime. Are you all recharged? No. Too bad. This afternoon, we're gonna connect these panels. Next. That's it? Well, for the easy part, yes. We have one more task for these boxes today. This is a DIN rail. You can connect all of your, your bits and bobs into a nice, easy package. Lightning protection. This is a fuse. And you can put your positive and negative wires here. And they'll come out the back. And that's your grounding. Okay. Third box is done, and now that these are done, we can move on with wiring the rest of the panels together. This is the wire we're going to be starting out with. This black wire will get a, the opposite end of this. It's going to plug into the negative of this and go all the way down to the end. This negative cable will go down through the weather head. Into the IMO. And Hook into the ear. First line. Yep. Once we find our wire cutters, we'll finish that little connection. But for now, we're gonna move on and do the same thing for the bottom set of panels. I have two pair. I'm about to have four in the morning. Yeah, let's finish up the negatives for array two and three. Good idea. You're so negative sometimes. All right, I'll be more positive next. There we go, time to run the red. Yes. These panels end in a positive, so that's why we need to take our positive wire and connect to them. This side is the positives, yes. That's what I just said. In a roundabout way? No, direct. Okay. Oh, this, this connection is short. Yes. Like you. Ah. On that note, we're going to do the rest of these red wires, but it's getting dark, so we'll show you tomorrow. 
and you better be more positive. We're moving on today to do some wire pulling. Yep. I'm nervous about this one. I think it's gonna be tricky. Array two and three are gonna be easy. Array number one, maybe. This is our end point. So this is where the pull rope will start. And hopefully the vacuum will be strong enough to pull it through. It'll work. Okay. Have faith. Ah, it's moving. Uh-oh. We're moving on to plan B. We're just going to use this light nylon rope to get the initial string through the pipe. Yep. And then we'll go from there. If I could tie a knot. You need to take a knot tying class. <laughs> There's a lot of things I need to do. We went ahead and pulled the rope all the way through so that we could get an actual for how long these first two wires need to be to get to array number three. The easier way would have been to measure how many, how much conduit you actually put in, and then you'd have the exact same number for footage of cable. But well, we never do things the easy way. Well, we didn't know. <laughs> but there's a good trippy tip. That is gonna be a lot of wire. We cut all six wires to their appropriate length, and they're not all the same length. Nope. We'll be going from array three, one solid line, all the way to the garage. So those are the longest lines. Those are the longest lines. We're going array two, one solid connection to the garage. Medium size. And one solid line going from array one to the garage in pairs. This starting point is actually the easiest because there's only two wires right now. It's a good practice run. Yeah, warm us up. <laughs> yes, array three to array two. First wire is going in. So far, so good. Array number three now has its two wires. We are at array number two, so this is where we pick up our second pair of wire. I need another hand. You're so needy. I am, <laughs> oh, but I'm positive. Oh, very good. Here we go. Definitely a little tighter than with only two. But I think we got this. It's working. Yeah, it's definitely a working. <laughs> a workout? Yeah. We are at array number one. There are the six wires that are gonna get pulled through to the end. In theory. <laughs> It'll work. It'll work. Be fine. All taped up. And we're going to give ourselves an edge. This is foam lubricant. So you just spray that into the opening? Yeah. It says in the back for one inch conduit, one second. I'm going to go four. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like following the directions. Yep. Ready? One second. Yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so much for four. <laughs> <laughs> you fill the box with four. This would probably be a repeat. Yes, you have to do this like constantly. Okay. Let's try. Okay. That's working. That should do it. What do you think? Doing six was easier than four. Yeah, I think this stuff is pretty magical. You should have used it earlier. Thumbs up on the foam lubricant. We did it. I told you there's nothing to worry about. Well, I never did that before, so it was an unknown, but I'm really happy it worked out. All of the wire is now pulled. We've got it going up to the garage, and that means next up, it's you to connect everything together. Actually, next up, it's story time with Brian. Let's get out of the wind. Well, I'm intrigued. <laughs> so to our viewers, she has no idea what I'm about to tell you. When researching what conduit size I needed, NEC code said you have to do a whole bunch of math to figure out what you know your wire size is compared to the, the internal diameter. It was a whole bunch of math wasn't interested. 
went to Gemini AEI. What size conduit do I need to do this and pass code? And it says, boop, 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 boop. you need three quarter inch PVC. Okay, great. I'll go to one inch just because, you know, it gives me a little more wiggle room. Put the conduit in, concrete's poured, trenches are filled in, we're done. I'm on ChatGPT this time asking some other thing and it says, you should use, you know, put, put this through your one and a half inch conduit. Mm. Excuse me? Oh dear. You, and I got them confused and I said, you told me I needed one inch. And it said, no, I didn't. I would never tell you one inch because you'll never get it through the conduit. And I went, uh-oh. <laughs> I'm just going to keep that one to myself until after we make it through. Because I know what kind of <laughs> stress this would put on her. You're welcome. <laughs> you probably did the right thing. <laughs> oh, I know I did the right thing. We've been together, I don't know, 17 years. I think I know you pretty well. <laughs> oh, goodness. Still love me? You're lucky I love you. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> And you're lucky it all worked out. <laughs> Moving on. With all the cable pulled, it's time now to just make all the rest of the connections under these solar panels. Yep. Got to put on the uh, connectors and plug them in and start wiring up the rest of this fun. And if you want to have the same fun, don't forget, we've got an affiliate link to Signature Solar down in the show notes below. They've got all sorts of fun that you can have. I mean, after watching all the fun that we've gone through, I gotta imagine you're like, yes, please. <laughs> Solar panels, ground mounts. It's all easy. Brian says it's easy peasy. <laughs> then it must be so. Yeah. So yeah, check out Signature Solar in the links below. We'd appreciate it. Now get to work making these connections. Yes, dear. You owe me a few. Uh, I'm not gonna forget this. You're fine. It's, it's fine. Just say yes, dear, and move on. <laughs> yes, dear. <laughs> to make the connection from the end panel, the negative here, to the negative cable that we pulled yesterday. We can do so now because I now have wire strippers. <laughs> you now probably have four pairs of them. Yes, I do because I bought two. Crimp. Wires in all the way. Squeezy, squeezy, squeezy. and perfect cramp. <laughs> <laughs> For the blooper reel. <laughs> wow. Try that again. Good and tight. <laughs> Slide that in. It goes click. And this goes on here. Tighten this down, and it pinches in there to make it watertight. Ugh. Guess that's tight enough. <laughs> and click. Now you just have to do that for all of the ends for the negative, and on the other side, all the positives. Yep. You do that, I'll go clean up, and we'll do more tomorrow. Hopefully by the end of today, we will have everything connected from all of those panels up to the garage. While you take care of all of this, I'm going to play in the garden. Have fun on your birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Michelle. Happy birthday to you. Thanks. Now this is how I want to spend my birthday. It's way more fun than electrical. It's nice when I leave for a little bit and come back and the wiring is magically done. Next up, we're gonna do a walkthrough of all of the electrical wiring from the panels straight through to the garage. Each array is set up with 14 panels, seven in series, two parallel. The positive end starts here, but it goes to the negative, to the positive, negative to the positive, negative to the positive, all the way to the end. And that last negative, goes all the way down to the box. With this 
wire right Correct. there. Yep. The same thing happens for the bottom row of panels. Positives come in right here, both sides, and they go into this weather head. Everything comes down here and into the IMO. This is a disconnect, solar disconnect. Then everything comes down here. Negatives go here, positives go into here, and then it gets split into our lightning protection and fuse. Comes out of the fused area and down here, and then just goes into the line. Those two wires run underground in conduit over to array number two. The ground comes out to here. You have to have access so that the inspector can see your ground. So there's one ground. This is the pull box for array number two. It's identical from to one and three with the exception of the previous one comes in to here and then just immediately goes out. But everything else is all the same. The wire continues on upward to array number one and there is our second ground. This is array number one. I've got wires from array three and two coming in. They loop around and go into here. Parallel runs of the, the panels are all the same. Two wires coming in from the top, two wires coming in from the, the bottom row. Disconnect, lightning protection, uh, fuse, down and out. We're heading into the home stretch now. Not far now. Stay tuned as we install the inverter, the batteries, and all the wiring that makes all the magic work. In the meantime, thanks for watching. I have the power! I'm going to power walk away. He man, come back! I don't think that's how you power walk. If you enjoy our videos, we'd really appreciate it if you would take a second and subscribe to our channel. Thanks. And until next time, like our farm sign says, just keep growing.